Good morning and welcome to Fox News First. Here's what you need to know as you start your Monday. Biden electability increasingly questioned on New Hampshire campaign trail after latest with eyebrow-raising comment to voter presidential contender Joe Biden jokingly called a college student in New Hampshire a lying, dog-faced pony soldier during a campaign event on Sunday, just two months after he unloaded on an Iowa voter whom he called a damn liar and days after he dryly instructed a climate activist to go vote for someone else. The student, Madison Moore, of Mercer University in Georgia, began by asking Biden how he could remain competitive in the race after that performance. It's a good question, Biden responded. Number one, Iowa's a Democratic caucus. You ever been to a caucus? No you haven't. You're a lying, dog-faced pony soldier. You said you were, but now you got to be honest. I'm gonna be honest with you. It was a little bit confusing in Iowa. Biden, 77, has gone on the offensive following his disappointing fourth-place finish in last week's disastrous Iowa caucuses, well behind rivals Pete Buttigieg, Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren. His defensiveness on the campaign trail has raised questions about his possible electability issues, especially given President Trump's propensity for hammering the Biden's perceived corruption. This past December in Iowa, Biden slammed a voter who questioned Hunter Biden's business dealings as a damn liar who needed to take an IQ test. That was just another of several questionable comments made to voters on the campaign trail. Click here for more on our top story. Other developments in the 2020 presidential race, Fox News Sunday interview, Buttigieg comes out swinging, Brit Hume, Sanders campaign, basically a conspiracy theory, democracy 2020, full coverage. Coronavirus infects 60 more passengers on quarantine cruise ship, mainland China's virus cases rise dramatically Japan may test every person aboard the Diamond Princess for the coronavirus after it was determined Monday that there were 60 new cases on the quarantine ship docked off the coast of Yokohama. In addition, China's health ministry said another 3,062 cases had been reported over the previous 24 hours, raising the Chinese mainland's total to 40,171. The number of deaths grew by 97 to 908. Click here for more. Parasite makes history at Academy Awards as Brad Pitt goes political with first acting Oscar win the South Korean film Parasite made history at the 92nd Academy Awards Sunday by becoming the first non-English language movie to win for Best Picture. Parasite took Hollywood's top prize on Sunday night, along with awards for Best Director, Best International Film and Best Screenplay. Meanwhile, after winning the Best Supporting Actor award for his role in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Brad Pitt took a shot at Republican senators who voted against calling witnesses at President Trump's impeachment trial. Click here for the complete Oscars 2020 winners list. Other developments from the Academy Awards, Karl Marx gets shout-out during Obama-produced film's 2020 Oscars speech. Click here to get the Fox News app. Today's must-reads Trump budget would cut $4.4 trillion in spending, boosting defense while slashing safety nets, foreign aid. Gunmen who targeted NYPD officers in two premeditated attacks has violent past. Snoop Dogg attempts to clarify Gail King comments. The latest from Fox Business British Airways flight crosses Atlantic in record time. Ex the Rano's boss Elizabeth Holmes to ask judge to toss charges at Monday hearing. Millennials overspend on Valentine's Day compared to Gen X, baby boomers. Hashtag the flashback, click here to find out what happened on this day in history, some parting words. Steve Hilton responded to President Trump's acquittal at his Senate impeachment trial by proposing, and signing, what he called articles of incompetence against Democrats and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Not signed up yet for Fox News First? Click here to find out what you're missing. Click here to find out what's on Fox News and Fox News Radio today. Fox News First is compiled by Fox News Brian Robinson. Thank you for making us your first choice in the morning. Enjoy your day. We'll see you in your inbox first thing Tuesday morning.